A graduation ceremony was held today at the IT Vet compound in Belize City for a group of 22 young men who eight months ago took on the Belize Youth Challenge. The program taught them about endurance and discipline and is modeled from a similar program at the Louisiana National Guard in the U.S. The residential phase of the training saw the youth reside at the rehabilitation facility at mile 21 on the George Price Highway, where they attended academic classes and were exposed to physical training and drills. During the first two weeks, the challengers undergo the behavior modification aspect of the training. Here is where a number of the challengers struggled with the discipline and rigors of physical training. We lost quite a few of our potential cadets during this phase. During the initial phase of this training, the cadre of soldiers indeed had to exercise great restraint in order to avoid becoming confrontational or physical with the challengers. The hands-off policy was in full effect. Unfortunately though, the challengers who insisted on attempting to engage and committing gross act of deviance had to be released from the program. There were also those who were not yet prepared to be away from family and friends for an extended period. These had asked for voluntary release. The Department of Youth Services, the Health Department, the Community Policing Unit, the National Drug Abuse Control Council, and the Department of Education partnered with the program to engage the participating youths, four of which sat the PSC and were awarded subsidies to pursue high school education. Two are also seeking scholarships to attend sixth form, and two others have been accepted into the voluntary element of the BDF at Militia Hall in Belize City. The Ministry of Human Development, Social Transformation and Poverty Alleviation teamed up with the Ministry of National Security to organize this initiative. Over the years, we have lost too, much, too many of our young men to gang violence, the drug trade, and at prison. And we are quite cognizant of the fact that we must do a better job of keeping our young people positively engaged and offer them every opportunity for development. You see, gone are the days in which we approach engaging our youth with a forceful and punitive hand. Programs that give our youth, our young people, an opportunity to, opportunity to re socialized towards a productive have yield much better result in the longer run. The Belize Youth Challenge is one of the one of those promising programs. Minister John Saldiver says that the graduating group will be able to access any of the three units that fall under the Ministry of National Security. The Belize Coast Guard is at your beck and call. The Belize Defense Force and the police department for any of you that wish to join those ranks. I also want to start off this morning by, from my point of view, admitting some uncomfortable truths that would reflect greatly on where we are today with this Youth Challenge program. Dwayne Moody for News 5.